Hello everyone and welcome finally back to Dog Sled Saga and oh my goodness, it has been probably about three quarters of a year since we last played it. We last played this back in March, it is now December and oh my goodness, uh, it's been a while you guys. So I haven't played this game since our last season and so... Um, I will see how this goes. <laughs> hopefully all goes well here, and uh, hopefully I can get back into the swing of things, but please forgive me if I'm a little bit rusty. Uh, this is season two, so we'll be resuming, and we're not going to hire another dog right now, so we'll just be jumping right back in with our current dogs. We have quite a few of them, and uh, it's going to be kind of interesting to see how we progress from here, because uh, what we're going to end up doing is we'll actually retire some of our dogs. So, like, Chase is one of our original dogs here. If we look at... Um, Let's see, where where do we see this? It's at the very end, right? So he's been on the team for 534 days, and uh, I think we'll probably try to go to about 800 or 1,000 before we start retiring dogs. We want to give them the chance to breed and pass on their legacy here, and uh, then we're going to kind of train new dogs, because what that'll simulate is kind of, because, you know, a dog doesn't have necessarily, you don't want to have them doing dog sledding for their whole lives. You want to uh, let them retire, because eventually as they start getting older, it starts, uh, it starts, you know, as they get older, they get less fit, and it's harder for them to do it, and uh, you just don't want to be continuing to put them under that stress as they get older. And uh, that's even the case with my dog. We used to go urban mushing with her, but as she's gotten a little bit older, we've stopped, because she started having hip problems and so we don't want to be just indefinitely having our dogs be doing the sledding and so we're going to kind of rotate them out and slowly kind of try to train up a new team and eventually down the line we'll probably end up with like some perfectly um perfectly suited sled dogs but uh, we'll see if we get to that point that's going to be a few generations out yet and we're still only on season two and just starting that uh but enough of this talking let's go ahead and jump in uh it might take me a little bit to figure out where I left off and with that in mind um, we're gonna see <laughs> if what we can do here so we have it looks like I think that's our dues are due in one day I think we have sponsorship offer in one day I'm trying to remember what all of this means and we've got a race in four days so let's make sure everybody's resting up I'm gonna look at a regimen um, we want to make sure we rest the dogs that uh, just went uh, for a race. So that would be Chase, Aeon, and Shasta. And uh, they all uh, have only one bar of fatigue, so that's good. We can go ahead and hit proceed. And bills are due. We should be able to pay them. The due is... Um... Oh, wait. We're, <laughs> we're, we're actually really... Um... Yeah, we can barely pay our dues here. That's the other reason we're going to need to start uh, retiring dogs is because our bills are getting so expensive. So let's go ahead. We'll pay our dues here. And we'll be trying to get to League 7 pretty soon, I think. But for now, we just got to rest up. And uh, hopefully hopefully we'll be able to earn enough from these to pay our dues. If not, we might end up... Uh, oh, and somebody's happiness went down. If not, we might end up needing to actually um, <laughs> uh, make sure that we... Um, what am I what am I saying? I'm trying to find my words here, you guys. <laughs> um, I'm trying to make sure that we keep everybody's happiness up as much as possible. So what is Avalanche upset about? I believe Avalanche is Shasta and Rory's son here. Um, let's see. Uh, why is he upset? Um, his favorite thing is perfectly timed catches, and he just hasn't been racing. That's what's going on. All right, so we have a race in a few days. I'm going to switch our regimen back to training. Uh, it might take me a little bit to get back into the swing of things here, so please forgive me if, uh, if I end up forgetting anything or if I'm not too good at the racing when we first start off because I haven't played this game in a long time. Uh, so let's continue on. We'll make sure we're petting everybody every day. And uh, for the most part, everybody should be pretty happy, but we want to try and race the dogs that uh, need to be trained whenever we have a race uh, that will be suitable for them. So let's go ahead, proceed. All right, so somewhere to Monument to Aurora. We've got lots of foliage, lots of obstructions, decent snow quality for dog team size. We're going to enter because we need money. And uh, so let's see, we don't want Shasta in the middle. Um... Squirrel 
is very happy. She has raced recently. Let's look, let's see what, what dogs we have that are in the lead position. Oops, not you. <laughs> um, I think Avalanche is, so the purple ones are the ones that we don't know where they're going to be. Blue is wheel, red is middle, and green is lead. So we're not going to put Polaris there. Um, so it's just Shasta and Squirrel. Which one would be better to race? Well, Shasta had his favorite thing five days ago. Squirrel had hers 11 days ago. They both would have low exhaustion, so we're not going to, uh, we'll, we'll let Squirrel race this time. And Hunter is middle, but he would have severe exhaustion, so we're not going to be racing Hunter. We might race Rory, but not in this position. We might race Sierra in the middle, or in the back middle position. We're not going to race Avalanche. Uh, we're probably not going to race Polaris. No, we're not going to race Polaris. And we might race Duncan or Snowball. Not Whiteout. Um, I think what we're going to do is probably try and race either Sierra, maybe Sierra and Duncan, I think, possibly. Um... That might be wise. Or you know what? Let's... What, what is your favorite thing? Uh, consecutive catches. Okay. Oh, Duncan is petting. We don't need to race Duncan this time. Um, but Snowball wants uh, fame, so we'll race Snowball and Sierra here. And then for the wheel, Chase had his favorite thing five days ago. Whiteout really needs to race, but I don't know when we're going to get an opportunity. Hunter's fine. Rory had her favorite thing 11 days ago. And I believe the only back dog we have... Okay, possibly Avalanche, but Avalanche would have too severe of exhaustion, so we're not going to do that. Avalanche also needs to race. Polaris also needs to race. But uh, we're going to put Rory in the wheel then. And uh, so this way we have some experienced dogs on the team, but we also have some a trainee on the team. Actually, no, I want to make sure we race Snowball. And that'll mean that we only have one dog that's still kind of training. We want... Um, why is the exhaustion level so different? I don't actually know why what's going on there, because they both have the same experience, but uh, Snowball is only uh, able while Sierra is natural, so I don't know what's going on with that. Um, uh, we'll figure it out, <laughs> uh, but let's make sure that everybody else is going to be training, so all these dogs who are resting are going to end up going to train, and uh, let's go ahead and start our race here. So. Hopefully this isn't going to be too hard. We already have a tree coming up. We just really got to watch the breathing, especially for Sierra, because otherwise we're going to uh, have some problems. Oh boy. All right. Nope. Nope. Don't jump. Don't jump. <laughs> All right. Can we do that? Nope. We can't. Okay. Oh, we missed. Oh, goodness. All right. Right back into the chaos of everything. And let's see if we can get some of these treats back out. I'm just going to feed. Nope. I missed up there. Okay. Quickly. There we go. <laughs> All right. Um... Oh, I forgot how hectic this can get. So I'm going to try and feed the dogs in pairs as much as I can. Let's get past this tree. Oh, now there's wind. Oh, that was not good. Okay, come on, come on. Okay, there we go. Jump, jump, jump. There we go. We did it just in time. Another tree already. You are already tired. All right, there we go. That's right. She can lunge out of position to get her treats. I forgot about that. I'm not used to what everybody's skills are or anything like that anymore, so just be ready for me to, to fumble that around, too. I'm still getting back into the swing of things here, and we are just charging in at uh, full force, pretty much. Oops, that was not good. Um... We're basically just jumping right back into the midst of the chaos here. We're taking off in level 6. There's no warm-up. This is where we are at, and we're we're just going to go for it. Oh, no! No, 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 no! Both treats! We lost both treats to that tree. All right, we're actually not doing terrible. We're in third. All right, I'm going to try and get past the tree. And, oh, quickly. Okay, jump, jump, jump. We don't have time for this. Okay, i got to get Snowball her treat. Nope. Oh, I'm throwing treats to dogs that don't need them. All right, <laughs> there we go, just in the nick of time. Let's get it up to you. And nope, we missed, darn it. Oh, okay, she's probably gonna get some exhaustion from that. I'm just gonna start going down the line maybe, and that might help. <laughs> we're actually still doing really well. We're, we're managing to come in first, actually. Wow, I did not expect that. There we go, and one last treat. Oh, we missed, but that's fine, because it's at the end. We made it, we got $6,000. And Rory's fatigue capacity is maxed out. Only one fatigue. That's good to see. Got some fame. And got Rapport Sierra, so that's good. Uh, lots of perfects. And uh, everybody seems fairly happy. We got uh, another favorite there. Rapport is up with Rory. 
Snowballs is already maxed out. I think it, almost everyone has their fatigue capacity maxed out. Um, lots of fame there. And Squirrel has uh, only low exhaustion as well. So that's good. Everybody only got one exhaustion. Uh, everybody got their favorite thing. So we should be good for a little while. Let's just make sure. We're not going to hire another dog right away because that's going to bring our fees up. And I don't really want to do that until we get to uh, 7, I think. So let's go ahead. We'll go to the regimen. We are going to do caretaking for a day. We'll proceed. And then we've got another race coming right up here. So let's make sure we get everybody back on training. And I will make sure I pet them. I forgot to do that today, I just realized. So this way their skills won't go down too much. And we should be pretty good, I think. There we go. Let's continue. And make sure we pet everyone. We got another race in another day. So here we go. Um, did I pet Squirrel? I guess I did pet Squirrel. All right. Um, and I pet Avalanche. Okay, getting mixed up on where I left off in the lineup. There we go. All right, make sure everybody gets their pets, and uh, then we're going to continue on. And here we go again. So this one's going to be... Well, actually, the snow quality is poor, so let's see. Tree farm to somewhere. Let's go ahead and hit enter. And, okay, so Squirrel just raced. I'm going to actually swap Squirrel out for Shasta, probably, I think. Yep, so Shasta needs it more... Uh-oh, we got some high exhaustion. Rory doesn't need to race right now. Polaris can't handle this race. Um, what about Avalanche? Nope. Um, Chase is going to have to be... Uh-oh. This race is going to be tough on everyone, I think. Oh, I bet what it was last time was Rapport. So we probably will then want to put dogs that they have good Rapport with in. So Aeon, yes. And then um, that's what was going on there. Everybody else had good rapport and was used to the team. Oh, boy. Um, great. Somebody's going to have to have severe exhaustion. And if we're doing it this way... Oh, boy. <laughs> um, Hunter, I'm going to risk this. This is going to be worse... But there's nobody else we could put in who would be great. So let's go ahead and we'll deal with this as it goes. And we just are going to have to accept that we're going to be basically constantly funneling our treats into Hunter's mouth, pretty much. Uh, his favorite thing is petting, so he should be very happy at least. But uh, we're going to try this and see how it goes. Hopefully he doesn't get too tired. Even if he does, he'll have lots of time to rest. I'm just going to feed him constantly. Feed. It. Well, I guess everybody else won't need food quite as much. Yep, so we'll wait a little bit. All right, he is going to get tired immediately. At least there's not a lot of trees. All right, make sure everybody gets food on time. We don't need any more for Chase yet. Hunter's tired again. If we just keep feeding him treats, he shouldn't get too much exhaustion. We just need to be ready to feed him all the time. Oh, he's going to get tired, though. There we go. He's all right. He's all right, barely, but he's all right. <laughs> um, let's just make sure we keep feeding everyone. And I don't even think yet. Yeah, Chase wasn't even hungry yet. All right. We should have a good amount of food, I think. And we haven't had trouble with it yet, at least. Let's feed the front dogs. There we go. And we got it to Hunter. You didn't even need it yet. I keep feeding Chase too soon. <laughs> Uh-oh. Did you get it? You got it. Good. All right. Oh, watch out. Watch out. Stay forward. Stay forward. Do not tangle. I do not need tangles going on right now. All right, we're, cl we're not close to the end. Oh, oh, that worked. That worked. <laughs> All right, feed, feed, feed quickly. Quickly, quickly. Oh, we do have a jump. Okay, I'm going to jump. We'll try and feed while we're in the air. Oh, we missed. All right, that doesn't usually work, but sometimes you can do something kind of cool with it. All right, already tired. All right, there we go. Thus far, so good. Um, <laughs> we should be all right if we just keep keep doing this carefully. I don't even think Hunter's gotten exhausted yet. Uh, he's gotten hungry, but and he's gonna take a lot of exhaustion just naturally, but um, I don't think he's actually gotten too much fatigue already. I think we, we've done pretty well. I don't think we actually ever had him get tired. Um, I think he actually made it through. Yes, he got middle specialty. That'll help a lot. All right, so I want to see. I'll just scroll through it here. Uh, rapport up with Hunter. Um, to none. Rapport up to none. So I guess they didn't like each other up until then. But he got middle specialty. Only three fatigue. And uh, that was pretty good. 
So, and he, he's going to stay happy because he likes petting. Ideally, I hope we can, several generations down the line, have a whole team that likes petting because that's going to help. Uh, that's going to make sure things go smoothly. Uh, let's make sure everybody rests. And hopefully Hunter... Well, I think what I'll do with Hunter here um, is we'll let him... Uh, we'll, we'll switch to training and then I'll let... Well... We, well, we won't, we won't probably race Hunter next time, and so we'll let him keep a little bit of his fatigue. And then what we'll do is, whenever we have a team that's resting, we'll just make sure we put Hunter on there. Because we have five slots, and so we, unless we have a full five dog race, which we probably won't, um, we should be good to go. Alright, let's keep going. Oh no, Chase is getting a little bit sad. What is Chase like again? Chase likes... Um, fame. He didn't actually get fame in the race, I guess. It's hard for, for real dogs to get ra er, fame in races, uh, unfortunately. Uh, especially in above three dog races, because you kind of have to rely on catches, and those are difficult to get. So, let's proceed. Keep petting the dogs. Make sure everybody stays nice and happy. I can't imagine we'll bring Hunter two races in a row there. So, hopefully... We'll be able to let him rest after this. Oh, but we have a five dog sled race, so that's going to be great. All right, this is going to be utter and complete chaos. Avalanche, you are not the lead dog. Um, I want Shasta and Chase, I think, and Aeon. Rory, or do we want Rory? Uh, no, we want Chase. Um, oh, great. I don't want Hunter in again. Maybe Snowball? Not Duncan. Uh, definitely not Whiteout. Not Avalanche. Yeah, it's gonna have to be Snowball. <laughs> so, we're gonna have two dogs with high exhaustion, but I don't think that's too bad. Ideally, we get everyone where their natural aptitude is, but that's probably not gonna happen for several generations. So, let's go ahead, make sure that everybody else is going to be... Well, I'll keep Hunter in training because we're probably not going to race him for a while. So let's go ahead and start. This will be our last race of the episode. Oh my goodness, the weather conditions aren't great either. This is going to be absolute chaos. All right, let's make sure we feed the two in the middle a lot and try and see if we can get some catches for, um, for Chase. Oops, Chase wasn't even hungry yet though. All right, come on, come on, come on, stay up. All right, stay up. Oh, you need food. You need to be moved up ahead. All right, ah, I'm throwing treats where they don't need to go. <laughs> and I don't even think that's going to reach. Nope. Oh, no, I'm sorry, Shasta. Oh, this is going to be bad. This is going to be bad. Oh, there we go. We got him. All right, back up to Shasta. Oh, no. Oh, no. Please don't tangle. Now is not a good time for this. Shasta got fatigued, so we're going to have to let him rest more. Oh, my gosh. Okay, I forgot the absolute madness that is five dog races. That's fine. Thank you, Tree, for getting in the way. All right. You can go... Okay. You need more food. You are going to need food soon. Get up and get there. Get it good. Okay. There we go. All right. So what we're, pro we're going to have to try and do is... I'm going to try and... Did we get it? Nope. He wasn't even hungry. All right, that's great. <laughs> um, we gotta try and time it so that we can get Chase to catch at the same time as someone else. Okay, do not drift backwards. That is not good. Stay up ahead, stay up ahead. Oh, we're getting dogs taken fatigue. This is this is chaos, you guys. <laughs> I was not ready for this. I was not ready for this. Okay, oh, you guys are too close together. Oh, we got another tree. Oh, please don't. Oh, oh, okay, you stole the other treat. That was not what I was hoping you would do, but it worked. All right, come on. You can do it, you guys. Oh, we're so close. Hang in there. Hang in there. Oh, no. Oh, no. Chase. Chase, his fault is activated. Chase. Oh, goodness. Okay. Oh, Shasta, I think, slowed down. We still made it in first, but I'm a little concerned that we took some heavy fatigue with some of them. But we got first, we got the winnings we needed, which is a good thing, and we just might have to let some of them rest. Okay, he got his favorite. I'm going to click through all of these. Okay, so one, two, 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 three. Okay, so we just need to make sure everybody really, really rests for a while, and uh, I'm going to make sure we get everybody on caretaking here. We'll proceed for a day. Um, I'll make sure I'm petting everyone. I don't know what happened to the music. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> um... Oh, I guess my headphones glitched. I was like, did the music just disappear? But no, uh, we're still good. <laughs> um, all right, you guys. Uh, let's see. We'll, we'll get set up for our next race, but I do want to make sure... Uh, we'll, keep, we'll stay on caretaking, but I'm going to actually trade some dogs out. So 
Um, dogs is swap into training. Chase is now good. Um, and what we'll do is now we will swap Hunter in to caretaking so that Hunter can rest up as well. And that way we should be good to go. So everybody seems to be doing pretty well. Everybody's happy. Uh, we got through a pretty difficult race without too terribly much trouble. And uh, let's just see, is there anyone else we can now put in training? Yep, we can put you in training. We can put Snowball and Aeon. It's just Shasta and Hunter who need to rest a little bit more. We can go ahead and proceed. And everybody should be pretty good here. Uh, I think everybody's fully rested up now and we can resume our training and uh, hopefully next time we'll, we'll get a little bit more used to the chaos and it won't be such a disaster right off the bat. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and end off this episode here for today because it is about that time again. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay. Over and out.